have you manifested your dream life? You've got the dream job and the dream house and the, the dream family and partner and you've got that success that you thought was really going to bring you that happiness and yet you still feel something is missing inside? Well, what, what is that? Why? You know, is it that you just need that next new thing, that next level of attainment that's going to bring you that fulfillment? Or is there something deeper that we need to find that comes from somewhere else, maybe somewhere inside of us? Well, I want to share with you a little bit of a story of my own journey and how I found true fulfillment, but it really came from within. Now, early on, I was pursuing what the system said, this is what's going to bring you success. You know, go get that that academic education, then you go get that career, then you make so much money, then you go and get the family. And I was pursuing success based on that standard model of what society tells us, this is what's gonna create a meaningful and happy life. And as I was pursuing all of this, I hit a point where I realized it wasn't fulfilling me, it wasn't bringing me joy. In fact, it was like something really felt like it was missing and Whatever that thing was missing was the key to a state of lasting joy, lasting fulfillment and purpose. And so I started to search, what, what, what is it? What's gonna bring that balance, that meaning, that joy into my life? And you know, brought in like all the different things that they say, you're gonna, this is what you need to create that well-rounded life. Sports, creative hobbies, social time, you know, enjoyment, like these types of things, brought them all back into my life and they all help, yeah, they make life more fun. Um, but there was still something really key missing. And one day the light bulb turned on, the self-awareness came in with the aha, where that key that was missing was a sense of spiritual connection, a connection to myself and to a, a purpose, a greater purpose in life that was beyond what society might tell you is the thing that you should be pursuing. And so uh, at first I was a little bit skeptical that mm, spirituality, really, could that be it? But I thought, well, I've got nothing else to go on right now, so let's give it a try. And I started to pursue all of this um, ways in which spirituality, not religion, not any kind of dogma, not new age, <laughs> but true spirituality, which is about connection to knowing yourself and knowing your own eternal essence and um, you beyond this body. Who am I beyond this physical life? Who am I beyond defining myself by all these things from the outside? You know, so often we're defining ourselves by our friends, by our relationships, by our job, by our culture, by our religion, by our family, and all of those things are defining ourselves from the outside in. But meanwhile, we're just trying to fulfill other people's expectations of us. You know, if I have this job, well, I have to show, we think we have to show up in a certain way. Or if, I, you know, if I'm gonna be seen as successful, I have to appear a certain way. And we're constantly you know, occupied with all these things that we have to do and accomplish to meet the expectations or to measure up to that standard. And meanwhile, we're completely disconnected from ourselves. So I, I put the pause button on all of that, and I took some time to really uh, look within. Who am I? What, what is my rhythm? What do I really enjoy doing? Uh, if I were to define myself outside of any relationship or any job or any of these outer things, who am I, right? What, what are my gifts? What, are, what is my purpose? What is my calling? And asking these questions, these are really key to moving beyond and finding that thing that's, that's missing. Because that thing that's missing is your connection within, your connection to your own deeper self, and, and a deeper sense of purpose of something that is beyond just the material gain. So this is where we need to really look. And as I searched for all of these um, keys to fulfillment, the next piece as I was getting actually really reawakened and excited about all these things I was learning about, what was possible, and things are possible beyond what you know regular society and 3D reality would teach us is possible. We can create a very magical and amazing and fun, adventurous life and have that fulfillment that comes from within. It's not about the outside. 
And yet, as I was discovering these things, the next really big key that came in that, that I was seeking was community. Who, who can I connect with that gets this? You know, who else really understands and is also on this same search, the same process of trying to seek fulfillment and meaning and purpose and making a positive contribution and really coming to to harness you know and master oneself from the inside versus it all being about just the superficial dumb outside and so searching for that community became the next big piece and when i found that community it was like finding a sense of coming home and when you find that place that you really belong you know, you feel belonging, you feel like you're, you found your tribe and the people who really get you and accept you for who you are inside, not just, you know, want to be your friend because of all the material you know, outside forms of success. Like they want to know you because they think you are an amazing person. And so then we develop these meaningful bonds and connections with people who feel like soul family. So when I found that tribe, that soul family, it, it really felt like the sense of coming home. Now where did I find them, right? And why, how did I know that they, that was it, that they were, they were the people I was looking for. This was the path that I was looking for. Now it wasn't a straightforward path. It was, you know, a path of, of exploring and heading this way and that way and, and realizing, no, not this. Yes, I like that, but there's something more. Um, oh, this is exciting, but is it really you know, going to lead towards the, the longer range goal? It was a winding path, but at some point I came to a door, metaphorically speaking, and I knocked on that door. And that door was a door to awakening my own potential, saying I really wanted to find my purpose, my unique purpose, and awaken more of my greater potential and the path that was going to lead me to really fulfilling that. And, and as I knocked on that door, that was a process that is called self-initiation. And in that self-initiation, everything started to synchronize, right? Synchronicity started to happen and, and point the way to the next step and, and here's the next door you walk through. And as I followed those steps, at some point I came to another door. And that door was above the, the doorway where the words know thyself. And this was the door to the mysteries, the mysteries of the self, the mysteries of the universe, the mysteries of the spirit and the divine, and what is it, and how do we relate to it? And that doorway to the mysteries is what we call the mystery school. And it is an ancient tradition, an ancient path, but I found that as I walked through that door, no longer was I needing to find my way through the maze of life to see what was gonna really lead to fulfillment. But I, I found a guide, you know, and a system of guidance that would help me walk that path and navigate my way through the, na the maze a lot faster and receive a lot um, higher level tools and empowerment and awakening that would support that next level of achieving and creating the life that I truly dreamed of living. So what is a mystery school? Anyways, you know, that's the, one of the questions that people always ask me. It's like, mystery school, what's that? Well, a mystery school is a place where we can study the mysteries of life, study the mysteries of the universe, study the mysteries of the self and our greater potential. And it is one place where we have gathered through ancient tradition, ancient times, all the way through to today. We've gathered in all the tools and knowledge and wisdom from the various wisdom traditions around the planet and, and the methods that they use to help us awaken to our greater potential and, and pulled it all together into one place. So you don't have to search and climb that mountain and go to that monastery and, and uh, you know, sacrifice all these things in your, in your life. You can study with the mystery school and live life in the modern world. And yet you'll find that it will really bring you that greater fulfillment. Now the thing about a mystery school is it is not a religion. It is not a cult. It is not dogmatic. It's not going to tell you what to do. It's not going to tell you how to think. It's going to empower you to think for yourself, to learn how to truly discern and to find the answers within. We say that we are not your teachers. We're just reminders because you already have all the answers within you. You just need help remembering what you already know. And that is where a guide in the mystery school comes in. They help guide you on the path to help you find the answers that are already within, to help you awaken the potential that's already within. So the mystery school is an amazing place where we can accelerate your evolution because we have methods, we have uh, teachings, we have 
tools, activations, initiations that have been on the planet and stood the test of time for thousands of years. So they're not a new age thing. They're not a channeled thing. They're, they're not a, an academic, dogmatic, religious type of thing. They are an ancient spiritual technology brought forward into this modern world that will really help you awaken your greater potential. So the Mystery School is something that fortunately for, for all of us now today, it is easier to find and it is more accessible and the doors are open uh, so that we can all, when we're ready, to really step onto that path of our empowerment and living a life of true fulfillment and meaning and making a bigger, more positive impact in the world as a whole, then the Mystery School can really support you in that process. So I would highly encourage you to check out the Modern Mystery School, which is uh, the path that I have trained with and you can find out a lot more about it on my website at TeresaBuller.com and also subscribe to my newsletter so that you can be kept abreast of all the different opportunities and when those uh, initiations and, and trainings are made available and then we will keep you posted.